Good morning year two, it is Tuesday the 2nd of March and this video is for you two, year two children that have got year one comprehension book and today we are looking at page seven. So just as we say every morning, stand and sitting, reading hats on, make sure you've got your whiteboard and pen in front of you and your book open at page seven for today. So today it says atop book topics. So we're thinking today about reading sentences and showing an understanding of what we've read. So your activity today is about matching what the book is about to the correct sentence. So I thought I would show you a little sneak peek of what I'm into reading on Thursday because Thursday is World Book Day. So I've got here a little snippet and this is Mrs Wood's favourite story in the entire world. So when I was a little girl, this was my favourite story from when I was in reception. And I've got this copy at home as well myself. So tune in on Thursday and you'll catch me reading my favourite story. Okay. So today we're thinking about what books are about by looking at the front cover and reading the sentence to match. So I've chosen three very famous stories and for each story I've written a sentence. And what you've got to do is read the sentence and decide which one matches with the story. So have a look at the first one. You will recognise the story. It will be a story that you read in school and you may also have a copy at home. OK, so the first sentence, let's read it together. This book is about, about and we're looking again at that. New grapheme for the ow sound. This book is about about a monster. St I'll blend a monster and a little brown ow. We've got our new ow there that we touched on yesterday. The tricky word little. This book is about a monster. And a little brown mouse. mouse. This book is about a monster and a little brown mouse. And my next sentence says, this book is about a brown-ish in the sea. So we've got our first sentence said, this book is about a monster and a little brown out mouse. This book is about a green fish in the sea. Which one of Mrs Wood's sentences match what my book is about? Because today it's about topic. So topic means what something is about. So which sentence matches my story? It was the first one, of course. This book is about a monster and we know the monster is called the Gruffalo. And the little brown mouse will give that one a big tick. Okay, the bottom one was incorrect. Okay, so do you recognise this story? Another one of my favourite stories that I used to read when I was in year one. So let's have a look together. Let's read the sentence, decode it. Use your pencil for your activity as well. And then use your pencil to decode and read the words. Okay, so we'll read it together. This. Is about about a strong and a split diagraph brave worm. This book is about a strong and brave worm. Does that match the story? Does that match the book? This book is about about a strong. And brave is odd lizard. How's that? Lizard, lizard. This book is about a strong and brave worm, or this book is about a strong and brave lizard. Which sentence matches the story correctly? Is it about a strong and brave worm, or is it about a strong and brave lizard? Use the front cover to help you. So if it's a story that you don't recognise, use the front cover and match the sentence to the right front cover. Okay, it 
is, did you guess it correctly? It's the first one. This book is about a strong and brave worm. There is a lizard in the story. If you know the story well, this is not about a strong and brave lizard. Okay, the final story is another one you might recognise you too. So let's read it together. I've got two sentences and which one is the right topic to match the story? So which sentence matches the story? This story, story, is about, we've got about, our tricky word again with our new owl grapheme, a graphed at a il, il, ar, caterpillar. This story is about a hungry, hungry dog, dog. Which one of those sentences match what the story is about? And you might remember what this story is called. Can you remember the title of the story? It's one that I'm sure you've already read before in school. It is, of course, the top one. This story is about a greedy caterpillar. It is not about a hungry dog. Okay. So for your activity today, you have got to read, okay, each sentence and match it to the correct topic. So look at the picture and the picture gives you a clue to what the book, the topic of the book is. So read each sentence and you've got to draw a ring, so draw a circle around the sentence that matches what the book is about. Okay. And when you're reading your sentence today, there are three tricky words that Mrs Wood has picked out for you that we're going to look at together first. And the first one is this word here and we've touched on this word previously in Mrs Wood's sentences and it's about and I've chosen this as a tricky word because it's got a new owl grapheme that you haven't learned in school yet and it's our new owl for cloud so you already know owl for cow o w but this is o u after out about so in your sentences in your activity, can you circle everywhere you can see the word about? And we said yesterday that tricky words we just have to train our brain because some of them we can't spell out and sound out, some of them we can. We need to train our brain to get used to reading them and seeing them over and over again so we know them off by heart. So in the text, can you circle everywhere that you can find the word about? The next one, the next tricky word that I've chosen is this word here and it's magic. And I think this is a tricky word because magic is spelled with the letter G. But in the word magic, the G is making the J for Jenny sound. So can you find the word magic in your sentences, in your activity and circle it? Because this is one, I think that's a tricky word that you might need help with, magic. Okay. And the final tricky word I want you to look for in your activity is this word, football, because if we sound football out, it looks like football, football, but we don't pronounce it football, it's football, football. So circle in the text where you can find the word football. Those are the three tricky words that I would like to find in your text so you know them before you start your activity. So. Once you've started your activity, okay, the next part at the bottom is asking you to draw a picture to go with a book about a farm. So what could you draw in this box here? So the other two, have a look at what, what they have, which pictures and what are their topics. And then imagine there is a sentence here that says this book is about the farm. What would that book cover look like? And if you're really super and want to impress Mrs Wood at the bottom, Okay, where you draw your picture of a farm, I would like you to write a sentence that says this book is about the farm using our about tricky word. And if you really do with that activity today, then I've got Mrs. Wood's challenge for you. So just like I gave you three stories, I would like you to draw for me your favourite story and write two sentences. One, a correct sentence about the topic of the book. So this book is about, or this story is about. 
and an incorrect one. And Mrs Wood will then have to guess which sentence matches the topic of what the story is about. Okay, year two. Hope you're getting okay with that. I'm really eager to see ahead of World Book Day on Thursday if you can complete my challenge and write a sentence about your favourite story. Okay, so remember to tune in on Thursday onto our live feed of all of our teachers reading our favourite books. And I'll be sure to be reading my very favourite Little Bear's Trousers by an author called Jane Hissy. Okay. Don't forget to send me your work in year two to our year two email address. It's our last week. So let's keep it up for that last little stretch. Bye-bye.